Hey you guys, my name is Arielle. I wanted to come on here today and I wanted to document my DNA journey. I used Ancestry.com. I know there's other companies, um, 23andMe, Ancestry.com, and a couple others that I probably never heard of. But I've seen a lot of people doing it on YouTube and I thought it's really interesting to see how people thought they were certain things that their family was telling them and then it so happened to be they weren't that. So I just want to give you guys a little bit of background information so on me. So growing up, my mom would always tell me that I was everything that she was. For instance, so my mother's side, she is German and English and she's Polish. So on my father's side, she would tell me that I'm Hispanic, uh, Portuguese, Cherokee, Indian, and French. Um... Now, when I would confront my dad on it and I would say, hey, dad, are we Hispanic? Are we Portuguese? He would always tell me, no, sweetheart, we are 100% Italian. I know where my roots came from and I know. So people would always stop me growing up or on the street or at work or a new job. People would always stop me and ask me. They would say, Ariel, are you Hispanic? Are you sure you're not Boricua? Blah, 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 blah. And I would say, I feel like I am. I think I, I am I look like I am um but for some reason my mom says I am and my dad says so that I'm not. I decided to purchase the test and I let my dad know and he told me that he actually got the test done a couple years ago so I thought that was really cool because I didn't even know that ancestry.com was around for that long so I purchased the test and what you do is you order it online you pay for it and this box comes to your home and they have like um a kit so you have to register the number to your registry um, on Ancestry.com and you have like a special number with your password and your screen name. Well, your email address, not your screen name, um, with your email address. So I registered everything and they give you this tube and you're supposed to spit up to the line. Um, you it's pretty disgusting. You know, you have to just keep spitting, make sure your saliva gets up to the, to the line. So the next day I mailed it out and you have to wait like six to eight weeks. So... I've been checking recently and um, it actually says that my results are in today. So I'm really, really excited to see what it is. And I just wanted to bring you guys along for my journey. Okay, so here it is, you guys, my DNA results. Oh my God, I've been waiting eight weeks for this. All right, here we go. So Eastern Europe and Russia, um, which is Poland. Yep, that's right. That's what my grandpa is on my mom's side. England and Wales, my grandma on my mom's side is english and german there we go french now my mom said that i had french in me on my dad's side but like i said my dad said that it's not true so i have to compare but she told me i was french so that's not a shocker ireland and scotland is seven percent okay i didn't know i was irish or scottish and i don't know which one of my parents is molly um what is Mali? Mali is Africa. Okay. All right, this is fucking weird because <laughs> it's like I'm 4% Mali from Africa and I don't know. I don't think neither of my parents are, so this is weird. Um Native American, okay? Let's see. Oh, see right here, Native American, um, Costa Rica, Panama, Brazil, um, and then it says Puerto Ricans. So my mom was right about that, but I don't, my dad swears he's Italian. So what in the world? Oh my God. Um, ballistic states. So ballistic states are again, Poland. Okay. Let's see. Portugal, Spain. Yes, so my mom was right about that. So my dad is, I guess, Portuguese in Spain. And Cameroon, Congo, and okay, so the Congo is in Africa as well. Um, what the fuck? Like, this is so weird to me. I didn't even know that I had this in me. Native American and Nigerian. Um, and then it also says migrates uh Puerto Ricans. So I am Puerto Rican. Um, okay. 
Right, so the Puerto Ricans, okay, you probably have relatives who were part of this migration in the past few hundred of years. Your connection to these migrations is likely through your ancestry, Native American, Portugal, and Spain. Okay, that's so cool. All right, my heart is pounding right now because I never knew that I had any of these things in me at all. Um... So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare it to my to my father. So that's what I'm going to do. Okay, so this is the email that my dad sent me of his results that he took. So let's see. Um, Europe, South, Southern Italy, 41%. All right, well. All right, well, that's fucking weird because um, as you guys saw before on my results, I'm not even Italian. So that doesn't make sense to me. Um, Europe, West, Germany, 27%. Europe, East. Poland, 11%, and Ireland, Scotland, and Wales, 9%. Okay, what the fuck? So, this is mine again. So, I'm not even Italian, and my dad is 41%, and it just doesn't make any sense to me at all. Um, Like, my heart is really, really pounding right now. Like, I, he, my dad's not Spain or Portuguese, neither is my mom. He's not Cameroon or Native American or Nigerian. He's not Puerto Rican. Um, I don't know, you guys. Uh, like, my heart is really pounding right now. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just going to end the video right now because I don't even know what to say. And I really want to call my dad. So I'm going to end the video. Hey, everyone. <clears throat> it's a couple hours later. And... What happened was um, I wound up calling my dad and I told him all about the results. I sent him over my results and his results and we compared them. And he basically told me that um, he doesn't think that I'm his daughter. Um, he told me that he always had an inkling. And now that we have the DNA proof, um, he knows for sure but he told me that um he told me that um oh my God. he um <clears throat> he told me that um my son and I will always be his family no matter what and um when he said that to me it just broke my heart um i'm 27 years old and i always known him to be my dad and even though we didn't have the best relationship i always thought that he was my dad i never questioned it um the only reason why i bought the kit was because my mom was telling me that i was certain things and like I said earlier, my mom was telling me that I was Spanish and I was Portuguese and my dad was claiming that we were Italian. Um, I always knew in my heart that I was Hispanic. I always knew that. Um, and I think that's why I, I bought it. But I didn't know that I was going to get results that my dad, that my dad isn't really my dad. So I spoke to my mom and she said he's not, but she's not able to tell me who is. So now I'm been on this emotional roller coaster all day. Um, just trying to wrap my head around things. Um, <clears throat> one thing I know for sure is that my dad will always be my dad. And I love him so much and I respect him so much. But I just want to know a name, a name of who my biological father is. Do I have his personality? Do I have his smile? Do I have his laugh? And that's all I keep thinking about. Um, it's really rough. And I really want, I wouldn't want anyone to find out this way. And I'm, I'm sorry that I did. I never imagined that if I got this son that I would find out that I wasn't my dad's daughter. 
um, that's that's not what I thought was going to happen at all. Um, I feel betrayed from my family, from the ones that didn't know. And I just feel hurt, just really, really hurt. I wish that someone would have told me when I was younger rather than waiting and not even telling me at all. I mean, so I just wanted to come on here and explain to you guys what happened because earlier I had to, I had to turn it off. I just, I had to call my dad. That's the only thing that I could think of. And, um, it's definitely shocking and heartbreaking. But on another note, I am relieved that the questioning that I had all my whole life, the questions that wouldn't leave my head are finally answered. So I am relieved because of that. Um, so I'm probably going to be on a mission to find my biological father. So I will definitely keep you and everyone else keep you guys I will definitely keep you guys updated on this crazy journey of mine all right